Okay, so in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to parse some raw JSON text on a remote um, server-side file. Um, parse it, or sorry, yeah, parse it obviously, and then that'll store into an NS array object which we can then use to output however we like it in, within the iPhone SDK. So the first thing we need to do obviously is have some kind of remote uh, server file that outputs some JSON. In this uh, tu particular tutorial we'll be using PHP because it's really easy to do all this. Um, and then from there we'll go into Xcode and dig into that. So uh, once we get into Xcode we're going to be using the SBJSON framework that's available for download in the Google Code website. I'll have a link in the description box. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump into our remote server file here. Um, let's first we'll just define a PHP array. Well, I have my um, PHP file already set up on my remote server, so I'm in there. I have the PHP tags. So we define a variable storing an array. It's just called my array, and then it's going to be an array. Uh, let's just have like names. Let's have like uh, John, um, Bill, and who else? Like Robert. All right. So three names in there. And then all you gotta do to actually output some kind of um, JSON text is use the JSON encode or echo JSON underscore encode function on an array, any array, and that'll convert that array into an actual JSON format. So really, really helpful. And we're just gonna have variable my array when, within that. Okay, so that should um, do the trick. Let me just uh, go into that file. Um, and you'll see that in JSON format, uh, on this web page, we have our names. In, um, so, yeah. Uh, so, I already have a project created here, it's navigation based. Go ahead and do that. It's called JSON parse. And what we gotta do is first within our root view controller. Um, there's a few steps to successfully parsing. Um, first we gotta download that remote file. So we'll just call this my raw, raw JSON. So we're going to download that raw text, JSON text from that remote file by doing, you know, the standard in a string look. Now we just need to do in it with um, contents of URL, and that URL is going to be need to be of type NS URL, and then you need to do like a URL string, and then um, I'm going to type in my URL here. slash json so that'll download that and then to be just good programmers we need to make sure that that connection was successful and how we do that is we just do like uh, my raw json length um, if it equals or if it um, let's say if it's less no let's just say if it's equal to zero then we're just going to re say return. Normally you do some kind of um, UI alert view or something. In this case, we're just going to stop the execution of the program. And also, we want to go ahead and uh, obviously release my raw JSON variable. Okay, now we um, need to add the SBJSON class to um, our Xcode project. So let me just pause this as I go find that. Alright, so I have just added the sbjson folder into my project. You need to make sure, by the way, to have all these files um, that the download comes with. Um, and 
we just need to import on our root view controller the um, uh, json.h file, oh, not that one, just the json.h file, okay, so now we have svjson included, so now we need to actually create an svjson uh, object, so svjson pointer parser um, equals uh, svjson, we're going to do our standard alloc in it, gosh, I can't type, okay, and then now, we're going to create, actually, within our .h file, we're going to create an ivar um, of type ns array, and we're just going to call it um, list, ns array list, perfect, so now, we're going to do list equals, um, let's do this, we're going to do parser object with string, actually, is that the correct one? Is it, uh, let's see if there's a P in here, nope, okay, yeah, it's definitely object with string, and let's go ahead and have the error parameter in there. Okay, so our inner string is going to be my raw JSON, and then the error, we're just going to say nil. And then the reason why I added an extra uh, bracket there at the beginning is because we're just going to do a simple copy function at the end there just to make sure that we have retained ownership of this um, array within the list variable, just to make sure. Um, and now we are done with the parser object. That was pretty simple, wasn't it? And you just release it. And then now we are going going to um, do some table view stuff since we have successfully parsed our string. Um, number of sections in table view. We're just going to have one section. It's going to be a very basic table view. And number of rows in section. We're going to do list. Uh, count, and then our normal table view stuff, okay, we have the cell all set up, so now we're going to do cell.text label.text equals um, list object at index, um, index path that row. So that should do the trick, now let's go ahead and save that build and run take a few seconds here it's opening or it's installing into the simulator and there we go we got John Bill and Robert very simple we parse JSON we um, put into a table view simple easy uh, easy to use uh, so thanks for watching and um, Please subscribe, rate, comment on this video, and check out my blog. I have a link in the description box. Thanks for watching once again.